If you want to know what I think Logan Webb is talking about, and we'll, we'll share his comments with you again for those of you just joining us. If you want to know what Logan Webb is talking about when he goes into the clubhouse after a win, after a complete game victory, and basically unloads and says, look, we need to make big changes to get the winning culture. Andy Baggerly writes an article that points to too many players who were okay with losing, absolutely names Jock Peterson as one of them. What I really think Logan is asking for, I don't think he's asking for Gabe Kapler to be fired or Farhan Zaidi to be fired. I don't know what's going to happen with those two guys. What I think Logan is asking for, and a lot of you fans for a while now, have been asking for the Giants to walk into the room and swing a big stick. Okay? Wow. Said it slowly. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what card game were they playing? Yeah, exactly. What's this? I keep leaving out the second word. What's the second word? Dos. Dos. Pusoy dos. Pu- Pusoy dos. dos. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Don't say it dos times. You might get... Uh, in trouble. Yeah. Really, really, really. Okay. So... Walk in the room. Swing a big stick. Dude! Don't you want to just say that to the Giants? I think the biggest issue right now with Giants baseball is that they feel like they think they're the Marlins. They feel like they think they're the River Cats. I think I've seen more River Cats highlights online this year than actual Giants. Well, they act like they're the River Cats. Yes. And they act like they're the Marlins. And this is what infuriates Giants fans is you go to the deadline and you and I had a Pretty fierce debate over whether or not other teams actually got better. Lance Lynn, Kike Hernandez, the Dodgers, the Rangers, all these are the teams that at least tried to get better. You brought in A.J. Pollock off of the scrap heap. He played three games, and I was clamoring for them to trade to get Paul DeYoung, and they didn't do it, and then he was free, and they grabbed him up anyway in typical Farhan fashion. You basically did nothing at the deadline, and you went into an, an inexplicable fade from there, and that's what makes some fans so mad. It's just like you're, you're going against it. When you look at the Dodgers and the Braves, okay, when they walk in the room, everything stops. The jukebox stops. <laughs> Needle scratch. And everybody stops. And, oh, damn. The Dodgers and Braves walk into a series, and they have such a presence about them. Doesn't mean it's always going to work. But my wish for the Giants is that everything about them stops feeling so small. You know, if we go move by move, sometimes it makes sense. But the collective is you look and feel so tiny. And you're the Giants. Like, it's literally the opposite of your name. And this is San Francisco, and this is three rings within the last uh, 11, 12, 13 years here. So everything feels like you're just, you're going up against a behemoth, and you're trying to, like, hit him with toothpicks. It's like watching Star Wars when Luke Skywalker spins his (laughs) X-Wing fighter with the ropes around those big legs. That was Empire Strikes Back. Okay, Empire, and they finally, the legs, like, trip up and go. Like, that's what it feels like when Freddie Freeman is hitting. You're like, all right, let's fly around him with a rope 117 (laughs) times see if we can get him to fall over. Two lady hit it in the bay. You feel so small. Be big. Good grief. Do you need your marketing campaign for next year? It's be giant. Hello, be giant. They've already done that. Together, we're giants. No, we're not together. Oh. I'm not a part of this. You go be giant, and I'll watch. Be big. Giants baseball. <laughs> Grande. Be big. Grande. Grande, which is a medium. But anyway, <laughs> it's a totally different conversation. I like, like a venti. Thank you. Like, you got to walk. That's what I'm talking about, man. In Arizona next April, you need to swagger the hell into the room. And I don't know how you do it. That's on you. That's your job. Soto, uh, Bellinger, Shohei, 
Alonzo playing soft. I don't care, but you got to swagger into the room and be like, we are here. And that's what Logan is saying. That's what Logan's saying. He's saying, we're, I'm tired of losing. Yes, stop and, being so small. Right, and you're just mediocre. And that's the worst part about it, is you're not, you're not big and exciting and a 500 club. You're not plucky and young and all these kids and a 500 club. You're a mix of boring and uninteresting, and you have a fan base that has tuned you out, and you're 500. Um, for those of you who do not know what the Logan Webb comments are, are uh let's run that back make sure you understand what happened after the game last night in the clubhouse he was asked to what level winning the Cy Young is a priority to him because he's probably not going to win it but he's in the conversation for sure and um he's a super competitive guy but the answer became incredibly interesting because he started out with like yeah I'd love to win a Cy Young but then he goes on to say, and here comes the phrase that pays, quote, I'm tired. I'm tired of losing. It's not fun. We've got to make some big changes in here to create that winning culture. We want to show up every single year and try to win the whole thing. I think as soon as he's done with that part, he went, ooh, I think that sounds pretty quotable. I better start to dial this back a little bit. And he goes, I mean, I think we're there. I don't know what it is. I'm just sick of losing, to be honest. It's never fun. And it was a super weird vibe because he's saying all of these very important and, quite frankly, negative things after a win with the uh, party rock star happening in the background. Bouncing ball to second. Bouncing ball to second. Here's your ball game. That's it. A complete game for Logan Webb is the Giants. Hang in there. <laughs> they beat the Padres. How about that? So there, there's Kipe, and then listen, to, is Logan ready to party? I'm tired of losing. Uh, it's not it's not enjoyable. It's not fun. There's some big changes in here to, to really to, to create that winning culture that we want to show up every single year and, and, and try to win, win the whole thing. I think we're there. It's just, you know, we got to, uh, I don't know what it is, but just, just take it losing. Most important thing any giant has said in the last two years. Is right. he sick and tired of losing? But no, right there. That's We got to make some big changes big here changes. to create the winning culture. And that is that to me is the money quote, and it makes you wonder what those big changes are. If it's big changes in management structure, if it's big changes in the roster, if it's both, I wonder if ownership is going to make that much of a big move to change the culture. But if he doesn't, then Farhan Zaidi and Pete Patilla who's the actual GM. We don't, we don't often, I, I think, impugn Gosh. him enough. Farhan is president of baseball ops, but uh, Gabe Kapler and Kai Correa and all the myriad other coaches, they've all got to go on a retreat, three or four day minimum, and figure out how it is that they can change this culture. Because if you don't bring in a bunch of high price free agents or trade some prospects to bring in more talented people, you have to find a way to change this, whatever this is, because over the last 320 or so games, you are 500. You are one game below 500, and even your diehard fans, they don't really care about you, yeah. and that's the most damning thing. I, I, watching the Giants feels like when you've got a lot of bills and you don't make enough money to pay them. You, you, you're, fighting, you're fighting things that, uh, that call for thousands of dollars with hundreds of dollars. When the Giants play the Braves, that's what it feels like. Too many bills, not enough jobs. That's what it, 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 It's just too big. It's too big of an assignment. We want to get to your calls, 888-957-9570. But before we get to those calls, how about some other calls? How about calls to the contest line? Right now is your chance to win tickets to see Adam Sandler at SAP Center on October 28th. Please use the contest line because if you use the regular line, we will both get mad and you won't win. So don't do it. Be caller three to the contest line, 
915-951-2386. That's 415-951-2386. Caller 3 right now is our winner. If you don't win today, you've got another chance to win tomorrow. We're doing it every day this week. Thank you, Live Nation. Um, okay, let's go to CJ in the city on this conversation. Uh, hey, CJ, you're on with Willard and Dibs. What's up? Hey, what's up, Mark? What's up, Dibs? How you guys doing today? Good, We're good, CJ. man. We're good. All right, for sure, for sure. It's good to hear. It's good to hear. Um, when it comes to, to Farhan and Gabe Kapler, I just want to say, first and foremost, they took over a team that was 72 and 85 with a lot of bad contracts on that team. And they were able to get rid of those those terrible contracts and um, kind of still compete at the same time. I mean, they went a hundred. They won 107 games a year after they took over. Uh, the same year that they took over, they went 500 the year after, and we're 500 this year, or just about 500. So, when it comes to them, like I understood the philosophy coming into the season. Like we're still kind of building our farm system, which is almost right there, and we still want to compete this year. I mean, if you look at the lineup, and let's just say everybody's healthy and good to go, it's a pretty good lineup. Like, Mitch Hanniger, I feel like, was a great addition if he just kept his health up. I feel like he's an all-star. He just stays healthy. Michael Conforto, the same with him. Um, it's just health uh, injuries kind of plagued the Giants this year as well. And um, when it comes to, to, to the clubhouse and, and, and the vibe in there, as a fan, I want to say, I, I like, I respect Logan Webb for, for speaking out, man, because you, like you said, Mark, you never really hear that. Like, players never really come out and just, you know, they don't really throw their, 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 their teammates under the bus, but they kind of, you know, they insinuate what's going on. And Jock, man, like, this dude playing Sudoku before a game. Like, dude, aren't you, didn't you go up a Giants fan? You were out here playing card games before a, a game, dude? Like, does this team not mean something to you? And as a fan, the way I see it with Farhan and Gabe is, to me, Brandon Crawford represents, like, the last remaining piece of, 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 of the dynasty run, or she doesn't want to call it a dynasty, I do, but he's, like, the last remaining piece. And if, and if he does decide to retire, then next year, to me, is the make-or-break year. And when it comes to superstars, real quick, like, I know we missed out on a lot, but let, let's retrace them. Like, Giancarlo Stanton, did y'all, do you, like, Really? Like, I don't think that would have been a good deal. Like, No, um, CJ, had- CJ, let, let, let's jump in, man. Thank you for, for a lot of really good comments there. To me, if you want to look back on it, yes, I would have still taken Aaron Judge. The one that really, I guess, hurts is Bryce Harper. Sure, sure. But, but yeah, I know where you're going. If you look back on the superstar contracts that didn't happen, that's largely been a good thing. It's largely it's a good thing that Rodon did, didn't, didn't get a deal. It's a good thing that Correa didn't get a deal. You wanted to keep Gosman. I would have loved to have had Bryce Harper. I, I understand all that. Um, look, there's some intricacies to your point, and I'm with you. And I know it's not popular to say this right now. I believe that Farhan Zaidi and Gabe Kapler have done more good than they're getting credit for right now in a moment of frustration. However, it's clearly not good enough. Yep. I do think that they've done enough good to also suggest they should be the ones for at least one more year to see if they can fix this. If they can't, we all know where this is going. I agree with you. They're not doing this for one. They're not doing. If we're not having this conversation again next year, they've done more good than bad, but it hasn't been good enough. Correct. And that, to me, is the the grand takeaway in all this. And I'm with you in terms of one more year. I think that the farm has developed to a point where you've got some talent. You've seen it come up. More guys are starting to come up still with you know Fitzgerald and you know Meckler out of nowhere, and you know the core guys that everyone's talked about. And Kyle Harrison should be a part of the future. Maybe he winds up in an offseason trade. We don't know how the offseason's going to go, but I do think those two guys deserve one more crack at getting this right. But you got to fix it, and if it means you have to trade prospects to bring in hitters because hitters don't want to sign here. And if it means you got to eat some of these bad pitcher contracts no. because you don't want to, you probably don't want to have Di Sclafani, Stripling, and Manaya, and you know what Wood on the team uh, next yeah, year. Wood's gone. Wood's he's, gone. I thought he had an option. Yeah. No, he's no. Wood's gone. But you look at all of these veteran arms. You don't want to have to pitch a lot of these guys. So. 
there are hard decisions that are going to be made in terms of those guys, but you've got to get better, you've got to get more exciting, and you've got to get back to the standard that everybody was expecting you to meet. 107 wins was you blew the, the bar out of the water. That was way better than anyone could have imagined. That's not the expectation. The expectation is win 90, sniff 90, and be a playoff team. Well, and I even look at it, again, as always, more about process than result. I understand that sometimes things go sideways. Sure. Right? If you had the, what about this? If the Giants had the Padres roster, okay, but the exact same record, in other words, if they were the Padres, how would you feel? I'd be more outraged. They're exciting. They have everything that you're asking for. Good players, aggressive signings, um, exciting things to watch, beautiful ballpark. They got all the things that we're asking for, but they too stink. All right. Does that fix it? No, it doesn't fix it. Okay. It's just a different problem. Right. But the whole boredom thing. The Padres are not boring. And I believe the Padres have outdrawn the Giants by a long shot this year. Absolutely. So it's just a different set of problems. And if you're a Padre fan, you're probably more satisfied with your bad year than Giants fan is satisfied with their bad oh, year. I don't know about that. Padre fans are pretty ticked off. It, it's been a pretty Fine. negative vibe all it year long. It has been, but at least when you go to the ballpark, you're getting some entertainment value. For sure. You yeah. want wins, of course, but at least you're getting to see four or five or six hitters in your lineup who might they might thrill you on any given night. No doubt. Here's my concern in this moment as we all collectively, starting with Logan Webb, ask for a new way. Okay, you got to do this differently and change the mindset. The problem with that is, though, even you and I are in agreement that Farhan and Gabe should get another year to 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 try to be the ones to fix this. The problem is the characteristics of Farhan and Gabe suggest that they can't do it a different way. Here's what I mean by that. I've given Farhan credit through the years for hiring Gabe Kapler when he was basically told for three weeks When it was a rumor, don't you do it, don't do it, don't do it. And then he's like, I'm doing it. And then two years later, he was the manager of the year. The reason that's normally a good thing is I would say this person has conviction. This person absolutely believes to his core in his process and evaluation. All right, well, if you believe that to your core, what do you do when someone says, okay, switch it? Don't do it the way you've been doing it. Do they even have that pitch in their arsenal? I don't know. Yeah. well, I don't know. They had better because the the way you've gone about doing it is not good enough. There are other teams in the National League that are more talented than you. You're one of only five teams that have seen an attendance dip in a time where attendance is up across the board. Nearly 10% for Major League Baseball. Fans are dying to go to baseball games now more than they have in the past 10 or 15 years, and yet you have a dip, it's because your team is dull. And the one thing that I'm going to be interested in this offseason is has the approach of Zaidi and Kapler turned off prospective free agents to where you don't want to come here yeah. because you don't want to be a platoon guy or you're a starting pitcher and you don't want to be innings three through seven. That's going to be interesting for me to watch. If, if they miss out on middling guys... Because of the way they go about things. Uh, I know I work here, but let me be the first to say, it's a great question. Count it. It's a great question. Thank you, it's Grandy. It's an important you go, question. You can go ahead and ding that one, it's Grandy. It's an important question. Yeah. All right, thank you. Uh, let's go to Ryan Hater. in Santa, Santa Rosa. Hey, Ryan, what are you doing? Ryan? Oh, it's me. Oh, yeah. wait, is your name Ryan? It is. Yeah. yeah. Well, then it is. It's you. It's all sad about yeah, it. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your parents weren't very creative with that one, were they? All right. Me neither. Go ahead, Ryan. Well, I got the DNA test. I'm not Irish. Ryan means little king. Oh. Well, uh, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. Yeah, what? Okay. I was just going to say, like, the Giants are the new Oakland A's. They're trying to play money ball, and they can't 
sign a big name for a reason. Like, there's no team to build around. I get Logan Webb is a top five pitcher in my book. Like, I don't even like the Giants. I'm an A's fan, and they have nothing to build around. And that's all I'm saying. Like, I don't get why people are so upset about their record. Like, yeah, I, I expect them to be a 500 team, and that's what they are. There's nothing special about them, and people are upset about it. So why are you upset about it, and what do you do about it? Well, I, I'd say this, and Ryan, thank you. I, I think it's more intricate than that. I, I, I really do. People say, oh, what do you expect? Look at their roster. Well, hang on a second. Fans have been teased, and in moments, that roster has been very successful. And I'm not just talking about 107 wins. Go back to June. The National League was Braves, Dodgers, Giants, period. That was in June. That was June. three months ago. No, no, yeah. no, just not like at the I, end of it June. Was in June. But the point is, for a very healthy chunk of the season, the Giants looked like a playoff team. And then... Mid July came and they hit a wall yeah. and they never ever recovered. They hit a wall. And it's interesting you say they hit a wall. Why did they hit a wall? I don't know. Overtax I, the bullpen with this cockamamie opener strategy. Uh, maybe rookie maybe. catcher I breaking think, down. I think there's a lot of reasons. Yeah, I think I, I think even some of the things we're seeing in the clubhouse agree are are, are, are are reasons. No upgrades at the trade deadline. Sure, sure. Reliant and over reliance on young players to come up and. Save the day. I mean, there definitely there are a lot of reasons, but I, I I don't find it totally fair when people go, well, what'd you expect? It's been a 500 team from the beginning. Well, in a three year stint, no. Sometimes yes. Sometimes they've been way worse than 500. Sometimes they've been way better. So they've like half the group is going, hey, it works, and the other half is going, it'll never work. And you're kind of all wrong, <laughs> and all right. Yeah. So. To me, it's not even that. Yes, results need to happen, but they just need to feel bigger. They need to feel like they're like the other good teams in the National League. Right. You got to feel big. They feel small. Yeah. And you are, by definition, the Giants. And I loved when you said that earlier. And I look at Arizona, a team that, even though they have a lot of young guys and guys that MLB fans are just still getting to know. They play with that moxie. They play like they're something. Well, they're athletic. Yeah, they're, young look, and fast. When I look and... at the Diamondbacks, if they make the playoffs, that's why. They're athletic. And that's part of the rule changes even that are out there right now. Yeah, Corbin Carroll and, and whatnot. The, and the Giants vowed to be more athletic. And even if you don't get one of the big fish on the free agent market, you could have done that. And they didn't. So these are all part of the changes that need to be made.